Chapter 4 Sets and Relation Set Theory A set is a collection of well-defined objects. Well-defined means it should be clear whether certain object belongs to the set or not. Sets are usually denoted by capital letters, for example, set capital A, set capital B, etc. The objects in a set are called its elements or members and are denoted by small letters. Consider a set capital A consisting of letters B, D, H, X and Z. Clearly, B is an object of set A. Symbolically, it is written as B belongs to A and is read as B is an element of set A or B belongs to set A or B is in set A. As A is not an object of set A, symbolically it is written as A does not belongs to A. Representation of a set. Mainly, there are two ways of representing a set. First, roster or tabular form. Second, rule method or set builder form. Roster or tabular form. In this form, the elements of the set are enclosed in curly braces after separating them by commas. For example, if a set consists of numbers 2, 5, 7, 9 and 15, it is written as capital A is equal to set of 2, 5, 7, 15 and so on. Note 1. The order in which the elements of a set are written is not important. 2. An element of a set is written only once set builder form or rule method. In this form, the actual elements of the set are not written, but a statement or a formula is written in the briefest possible way to represent the elements of the set. Example, let A be the set of natural numbers less than 7. Then, in set builder form, it is written as capital A is equal to set of X such that X belongs to and X is less than 7 and is read a is a set of x such that x is a natural number and x is less than 7. The symbol colon is read such that example, A is equal to set of 2, 3, 4, 5 which is in roster or table form. A is equal to set of x such that x belongs to capital N. 2 is less than equal to x is less than 6 set builder form. Cardinal number of a set. The number of elements in a set is called its cardinal number. Example, if capital A is equal to set of C, D, F, then cardinal number of set is 3 and is written as N capital A is equal to 3. Finite set. A set with finite limited number of elements in it is called a finite set. Example, first, set of boys in your class. Second, set of x such that x is a member of a particular family. Infinite set. A set which is not finite is called an infinite set. That is, a set with never ending number of elements is an infinite set. Example, first, set of x such that x is not a member of a particular family. Second, x such that x belongs to natural number and x is greater than one. Singleton or unit set. A set which has only one element in it is called a singleton or unit set. Example, set of whole numbers between 6 and 8. Empty or null set. The set which has no element in it is called the empty or null set. The empty set is denoted by the Danish letter phi and is pronounced as phi. Empty set is equal to empty curly braces equal to phi. Example, the set of all odd numbers between 7 and 9. Subset. In two sets A and B, if all the elements of a set A are also elements of set B, then set A is said to be a subset of set B and we write A is a subset of B. The notation A is a subset of B is read as A is a subset of B or A is contained in B. Example, if A is equal to set of 5, 6, 7, 8 and B is a set of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then a is a subset of B, that is, it can be written as A is a subset of B. Number of subset of a given set. If a set has n elements, the number of its subsets is 2 raised to the power n. Example, set A is equal to set of 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, contains 5 elements. So, the total number of its subsets 
is equal to 2 raised to the power 5 is equal to 32. Proper subset. The set A is said to be a proper subset of set B if first all elements of set A are contained in set B and second there exists at least one element in B which is not in A. This is written as A is a proper subset of B and is read as A is a proper subset of B. Example if A is equal to set of 5, 6, 7 and B is a subset of 3, 5, 6, 7, 8 then A is a proper subset of B. Number of proper subset of a given set. If a set has m elements in it, the number of its proper subset is equal to 2 raised to the power m minus 1. Example, the set A is equal to set of 3, 4, 6, 7 has 4 elements. Therefore, the number of its proper subsets is equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 15. Observe the following table. Here the set is given, the number of elements and subsets are given. If A is equal to set of 2, number of elements is 1 and subsets are 5A. If B is set of 4 and 5, number of elements 2, subsets 5, B, 4 and 5. If set C is equal to 1, 2, 3, number of elements 3, subsets 5, C, 1, 2, 3, set of 1, 2, set of 2, 3, set of 3, 1. If set D is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, number of elements 4, subsets 5, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, set of 1, 2, set of 1, 3, set of 1, 4, set of 2, 3, set of 2, 4, set of 3, 4, set of 1, 2, 3, set of 1, 2, 4, set of 2, 3, 4 and set of 1, 3, 4. Are n elements in a set, the number of subsets of that set is 2 raised to the power n. Number of proper subsets of a set, when set A is equal to 2, number of elements 1, subset is 5, number of proper subset is 1 because 2 raised to the power 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. If set B is equal to 4 and 5, number of elements 2, subsets 5, 4 and 5, number of proper subsets 3 which is equal to 2 square minus 1. If set C is equal to 1, 2, 3, number of elements 3, subsets 5, 1, 2, 3, set of 1, 2, set of 2, 3, set of 3, 1. Number of proper subsets 7 which is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1. Of sets. There are 5 types of sets in all. 1. Equal sets. Two sets are said to be equal if the elements of both the sets are same or the elements of both the sets are identical. For example, A is equal to set of 1, 3, 5, 7. B is equal to set of natural odd numbers less than 8. Then, set A is equal to set B or A is equal to B. 2. Equivalent sets. Two sets are said to be equivalent if the number of elements in both the sets are equal. For example, a is equal to set of x, y, z, b is equal to set of 1, 2, 3. Here, both the sets are having equal number of elements, so sets A and B are equivalent. Sets or set A is equivalent to set B. 3. Universal set. It is the set which contains all the sets under consideration as its subsets. A universal set is denoted by xi or the symbol u. Example. If A is set of 5, 6, 7, 8, B is a set of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and C is a set of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then the universal set for these sets may be taken as set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. 4. Complement set. The complement of a set A is the set of all elements in the universal set which are not in set A. It is denoted by A dash and is read as complement of A or A dash. 5. Power set. The set consisting of all the subsets of a given set A is called the power set of A and is written as P capital A. If the set contains n elements, its power set consists of 2n elements. The subsets are these elements. Of two sets. 
If A and B are two given sets, then their difference A minus B is the set of those elements which belong to set A but not to set B. Example, A minus B is equal to set of X such that X belongs to A and X does not belong to B. Solution, let A is equal to set of B, C, D, E and B is equal to set of A, B, C. Then, A minus B is equal to set of D, E and B minus A is equal to set of A. Set operations, union of two sets. The union of two sets A and B consists of all the elements which belong either to set A or to set B or to both sets. It is denoted by A union B and is read as A union B or A cap B. Example, if A is equal to set of 5, 6, 7 and B is a set of 6 and 8, then A union B is equal to set of 5, 6, 7, 8. Intersection of two sets. The intersection of two sets A and B is the set of elements which are common to both set A and B. It is denoted by A intersection B and is read as A intersection B or A cap B. Example, if A is equal to set of 5, 6, 7 and B is a set of 6 and 8, then A intersection B is equal to set of 6. Example, if A is equal to set of factor of 24 and B is equal to set of factor of 36, fine. First, A intersection B and second, A union B solution. First, A intersection B is equal to set of elements common in both A and B is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Second, A union B is equal to set of elements which belong either to A or B or both is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36.